Hey, Yoshi Dina, Mr. Dina. Hey, sorry um, to interrupt you. Thank you for your time, too, by the way, right now. Look, man, I'm waiting on these so-called investors. Look, I can't. I'm I'm a magician. I am. I mean, look how long it took me to get the space right next to you. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you gave it to me for free. No, sir, it's not free. I'm trying to get these people in there so we can talk about at least, etc. They're my clients, okay? The play is, you're the landlord, but come on. Help me out here. Give Brandon Bachman a call, please. I will give you his personal cell phone. You just have to say yes. I'll give you his personal cell phone. I'm sure you have it. I don't know. Your Rolodex is thick. Look, I'm sick. He was supposed to call me by now. He's late by a week, 10 days or so. I've been pushing them. They're a chief marketing officer. That guy's a fucking joke, to be straight honest with you, sir. I'm sorry about it. No disrespect. You're the pawn shop, man, in Beverly Hills. You need to get you need to get hard. I'm not saying, like, get all gangster and shit, but fuck. Like, how many people have you seen in trouble, and you're going, you're scratching your head going, you want to pawn this for this much, and you're in this fucking house, like, I saw two Ferraris outside. You ever scratch your head think about that? Well, maybe you should be a little bit more, you know, I don't know. I'd love to fucking work for you, because I tell you what, I'd make you a lot more money than you could possibly imagine. If you assist, shit, I ain't greedy. Give me 25%. Right now, I need the space. I need assistance to fill the goddamn space. <sighs> Anyways, no disrespect to God or anything. I'm just pissed off and, and sick right now. Sorry, man. Anyways, Mr. Dana, I will call you this week. I'm waiting on Brandon. That's all I can tell you. Out of respect for him, out of respect for selling you the exotic promotions TV show for $2 million, fuck yeah, let's do it. Why don't you invest $2 million? I'll still be involved. We have the space to film. Why don't you assist? Let's get $5 million for the show. We'll both do executive, executive producer credits. We'll fulfill that space right next to it. It's a shoot for the film. We'll walk through them. We'll say $5 million. We'll do an additional $1 million to rent the space. You see where we're going here? Why would you pay $2 million for something we can get if you assist me? Brandon has the Rolodex for that. He does cars for all TV, film, movies, etc. I don't know if I'm yelling. I, I'm, I guess I got the flu. That's why I'm pissed off. I got the flu and some shit. And I'm pissed off because these people... I'm at my mom's. These fucking people are fucking up my schedule. I've been waiting... Cautiously, and, and I've been calm and all that. Fuck that. When I went to see Mr. Brandon for the first time, Brandon Bachman, I wasn't there for a fucking job interview. I was there with my son to hire Galpin Auto Sports because it's the most prestigious, the best car um, aftermarket shop, period. And as far as I'm concerned, it's the best on the West Coast, period. Anyways, we'll get to, we'll get to that. $300,000 for the SpaceX 30. No, sir, I say we get them at $500,000. He spends $500,000 to $1 million per month on marketing. Assist me. Please, let's get $100,000 per month for our services and marketing. Let's get a startup of $100,000 check to start business. We'll wait 30 days. We'll hit him with another $100,000. We'll do a nine-month term. I need $200,000 in cars. Look. You let me, I need a Aston Martin V12. Doesn't have to be brand fucking new. A couple years old, low miles. Up to 100 grand, 150 grand. That's more than fair. I need one of those. Black or gray something. I don't know what you got in the garage. Please. That's for me personally. I want to drive around and shit, you know? And that. I want to do club swim. <laughs> Look, you, you, got, you got the list. I'm tired. I'm going to lay, lay back down. Like I said, I'll get back to you 24, 48 hours of the posting of this video. That's our place, sir. No disrespect, Mr. Dina, but don't fucking lie to me anymore. You're a very powerful guy. There's no reason to lie to me. Why, why are you threatened by me or whatever? <coughs> <coughs> you see how serious I am. You see my client base. You know who Adam Dahlberg is. Right now, he's in therapy. Sir, I need your help with him. He's got 50 million fans. Please, 
his fucking parents adopted him for a tax write-off. That's fucked up. And I'm fucking disgusted by that. Adam Dahlberg is my angel investor. I take great pride in him being a client. He's like my son. I need your help. Later. Boom. Wait a minute.